Anyone who's ever seen a glass of red wine or a full mug of coffee slip knows that it happens in slow motion. You get that sick feeling knowing it's about to ruin the new rug you just paid a fortune for. Even if you don't have klutzy friends, you might have pets, and you know that all kinds of accidents can and do happen. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and when my little rescue pup over there dealt with some stomach issues, and then we got the new puppy here, my old living room rug bore the brunt of it. So out it went, and we kept bare floors in here for quite a while. That is, until I heard about a new product called Ruggable. For those who haven't seen it come up in their Instagram feeds, Ruggable is a special type of two-layer washable rug. When I read about it, I was beyond curious. Could there really be a rug that would fit in the washer, clean up perfectly, and not get ruined? I broke down and bought one to find out. I chose a six foot by nine foot rug for my living room. Cost about 405 Canadian dollars, and that pattern is called Diamond Dahlia. It comes in two layers, as I say, a rubberized no skid underpad and the soft top rug layer, which is the washable part. Well, there's no real carpet pile to these rugs. They're similar enough to the texture of a fabric or rag rug. The top layer is thin, but not cheaply so. Coupled with the under layer, it feels like a sturdy carpet underfoot. Ruggable takes great pride in what it calls its cling effect technology, which lets you detach and reattach the rug cover to the rug pad. It's kind of like a looser Velcro, but it holds in place really well. Because you can adjust it, you can get a nice smooth top layer of the rug with no bumps or wrinkles. I got my ruggable rug installed easily enough. You'll roll out the underlayer, which is made of the same latex-free material that you'll find in yoga mats, and then roll the carpet over top. It does require a bit of finessing to line it up and get it flat and even, but when it was down, I was actually really happy with it. More so when a coffee got splashed on it. I pulled up the top layer, bundled it into the washing machine, and let her rip. Ruggable recommends washing your rug cover in cold water using mild and non-bleach detergent. You can then dry the rug cover in the dryer, just make sure to avoid high heat. The rug cover can also be hung up and air dried if you need to do that. Now for non-major spills, you can spot clean the rug. Your Ruggable rug cover is stain resistant and contains an internal waterproof barrier. Now I mentioned earlier that I splashed some coffee on the rug. That spot I was able to clean with just soap and water and it came out quite easily. My sick little dog also had her way with the rug. And by the way, why do dogs always head directly for any available carpet or rug when they have to throw up? That I would like to know. So it was definitely time to wash the ruggable rug. Now the rug top, hopefully you can see here with the puppy in the way, peels easily off the under pad. The six by nine foot rug that I have here easily fits into my washer. Ruggable says even the eight by 10 foot rug will fit in most standard size washers. I followed Ruggable's washing instructions, cold water and low dry, and was amazed that the rug was clean, dry, and it hadn't shrunk at all, and it went back together really easily. But you probably want to see for yourself how it cleans up. So at the risk of ruining my Ruggable for my YouTube audience, here goes. I'm using coffee and red wine for experiment's sake, mainly because they're two really difficult stains to remove. I didn't spot mop either stain when they spilled, and I wanted to see what would happen if they were allowed to soak in for a period of time. So then, it was into the washer. I was pretty thrilled to see that both stains had completely vanished without a trace. Even a rusty mark left by my table sitting in the coffee for a bit was gone. I rolled the rug back out into the living room and it was like those spills had never happened. Overall, I have to say I've been wowed by my ruggable rug. It is soft and durable underfoot. The pattern I chose I think looks really great in the house and the washability of ruggables is as good as they say it is. I was so pleased with my living room rug here that I went out and bought two more ruggables a month later, one for the front door and one for the back, and I am now looking at getting one of ruggables' new shag rugs for my home office. In short, I have nothing but good things to report about ruggable, so I can recommend them to you for your busy but chic home as well. If you want to read more about my Ruggable experience, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've posted a full blog and you can ask me any questions you have about these rugs either there on the blog or as always here on the YouTube channel.
If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and give me a sub since it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Until the next time, you can catch me on Twitter or Instagram. I'm at Erin LYYC. You can also always find me at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.